Hey my friends, it's David Tran. Welcome back to the channel. This is day number 14 of my 30 days of Swift challenge. We're almost halfway through the challenge. So if you're new to the community, 30 days of Swift challenge is my challenge that every single day I challenge myself to create a new app or a new feature of an app. And then I document this journey by creating video tutorial, step-by-step -step video tutorial for you guys and share with you on this channel. So today we're actually building three things, three features that I think that we use every single day as an user in iOS. And so as developers, I think it is so important that we know how to do this. Number one that we'll do is an alert view that can pop up some alert and then let the user to choose like one or two options. Number two is an action sheet. Now an action sheet is some, sometimes you want to do something like lock out or something that present to the users multiple options, multiple actions options. This is a great way for you to do it. And number three is a share sheet. Now a share sheet is something that if you want to share like an image, a video, a link, or text, or a lot of other things, or even files, you can do that with a share sheet. So if you love to follow along with me on this demo and build this app, just click the link right below this video to download the images, the resources, the source code, the stutter, and the complete project that prepared for you. And also you'll get all the video tutorials, all the resources in this 30 days of Swift challenge. So if you'd love to join me, just click the link in the description and let's head into the demo. For the starter project, I want to have a table view controller that displays a list of a few RS control options like alert controller, action sheet, share sheet, or dead picker and those stuff, right? Then when we tap on each of the row, we'll have like some code snippet here just for fun. And then when you click into this button, it will trigger the actual controller for us. All right, so that you have kind of like a library of things that later on, if you want to know how to do that, then you can refer back to it. So in the uh, controls tail view controller is this, we don't need to care about that. The code view controller is actually this guy that we are going to trigger the alert controller, the action sheet and the share sheet. If you want to share an image or share some text to friends or Facebook or social media outlets. So let's do that. First thing first, let's implement an alert controller. I'm going to call the alert controller VC in the trigger action. If it is the alert controller, we'll call that thing. Then the first thing we'll do is I will create an instance of alert UI alert controller controller with the title is let's say something like attention please. The message this is this is an important message for the alerts. Okay. And then the prefer style we want to do alerts. All right, then you can have a few actions that you add into the buttons. First thing I'm going to add and pass action. It is of type UI alert action with the title is I pass. Then the message, I'm sorry, the style is I'm going to use default. And then we have the closure here in like that. So this is the completion handler. If you want to do something, you're just typing in your code here. If you don't want to do anything, you will put the uh, completion handler to be nil. So let's do that. Let's have a destruction, destructive action. Now a destructive action, it will highlight the button and then make it red so that the button, it is kind of like really, really visual to the user of the destructive uh, consequence of the button, okay? So if the user click into that, there will be some catastrophic consequence that like you delete something or you cancel something, all right? So the style is to destroy the style here. You have destructive handler. I'm going to put that as nil. Then alert, I will add the action for the pass action. Let's make some space here. And we'll do alert.addAction for the 
destructive action. Then finally, we will present this alert modally, and the way that is true and completion is nil. Then now let's run it. Here we go. So alert controller, we click here and there's attention please. This is an important message for the alert. You can click I pass or there's a destroy over here. So this destroy is red. All right, so let's see how we can do an action sheet here. Now an action sheet is instead of an alert like this, it will put in like a few buttons options below here. So let's do that. Well, actually an action sheet, an action sheet like this, you can use it the same as UI alert controller, all right? But the title here, if you want to have the title and the message, that's okay. The preferred style, we can change that into action sheet. All right, so let's do action sheet here, and then I will add the action, and we present the action sheet. All right, and then everything here will leave the same, and let's see how it looks like. Here we go, action sheet. All right, you see that? So we have I pass and destroy. There will be a message here. Now, if you don't have the message in the title, I put as nil here. Let's just explore how does it look like. So we run that guy. And let's go into action sheets. Here we go. And it just have two buttons. All right. Now, there's another buttons kind of thing that you can do is let's say we have a let's cancel is UI alert action with the title is cancel and the style is we use the style cancel. Okay, dot cancel handler is nil. Then all you need to do is go to action sheets dot add action cancel like that. And then because it is the style is cancel, so the button is always in the bottom and then you have it's the kind of like a separate thing and you cancel all right so that is another option okay the final thing in this episode present share sheets now the share sheet here is what you see in the photo i will call that in the share sheet like this it is what you see in the photo library something like this and then uh, here we go. If I have this guy, we, we click share and this is the share sheets, right? So how can we do that? Well, let's implement that guy. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do. In this guy, you can share an image, you can share a link, you can even share things like a a, uh, a GPS file, right? Some, some location file. There's a lot of things that you can share. Usually, um, okay, so I'm going to use the easy way here. I'm going to share an image with the name is profile in our uh, image.xcsx that I prepare in the pro uh, starter project for you. Then let's get the images to share it will be an array of image because the share sheet, let's have a share sheet to be UI activity, UI activity, uh, view controller with the items we need to use use images to share now the items here is an array all right then the activities will put as nil then share sheet dot pop over presentation controller dot source view we'll need to provide source view that is our self dot view then we'll do share sheet dot exclude activity types. Now, this will provide a set of the things that you want to exclude from your share sheet. So for example, if I want to exclude something like post to Vimeo or post to uh, Weibo or something, all right, then we'll do self dot present, present the share sheet, animated the true completion is nil like that all right so this uh, now on the simulator i will run it on the simulator there will be not a lot of actions for you to share but on your device if you if you uh click here on your device you'll see that there's a lot of things that you can do on the kind of like sharing to different outlets because uh, i don't have any apps and any kind of like services 
settings here okay but we have the share album we have the images now notice that because we have an array of images here so we notify that this is an image right if i save all right now when we save it like this the reason why it crash is because we need to implement the ui um the privacy allows to the photos library and things like that just like when you implement an uh image picker in the info.plist so if you want to do any kind of that stuff implement it in the info.plist all right guys i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you do can you do me two favors number one is subscribe to the channel so that i release a new video tutorial you'll be the first to know and remember to turn on that notification bell and do all those stuff youtube stuff click the like button click the share button and number two is join us in this 30 days of swift challenge for free so i create for you a challenge that we have 30 uh, 30 videos 30 like with all the resources all the tutorials on the apps and the features of the apps in 30 days 30 videos for you to try out or at least if you want to build some features in the challenge just hop on use that as a reference use that as like the resources for you in your developer career i hope that you enjoyed this resource for you so just click the link right in the description box there you can go to my blog enter your name and email to create your profile and then i will send you all the resources until next time my friend join the challenge subscribe to the channel and i see you tomorrow